This is an original cast uh, made from concrete, uh, taken from a rhubarb leaf. It's a little bit smaller than the last one. Um, but um, anyway, I've primed it with a very dark blue. Um, I might turn out black on the video. It might look black on the video, but it's not totally black. There is a hint of blue, which will hopefully make the finished article look a little bit more natural, although the leaf's going to be blue. I don't think there's many blue leaves uh, on plants in the world, but um, anyway. I'm going to go through the dry brushing technique. I'm going to coat um, this leaf with some straight blue with a little bit of white and uh, go through a grade uh, or grades of blue um, and see how it turns out. So I'm going to dry brush the first coat now. So um, anyway, I've, I've put a little bit of blue onto the paintbrush and just wipe a little bit off on an old towel and uh, we'll go from there. So here's, here goes for the first coat which doesn't look like it's taking very well at the moment. I'm going to just dry brush that on and that'll leave where all the nooks and crannies are. That will stay a darker colour. So just dry brush over the the whole surface. Like so. You might want to use a bigger brush on um, these items. Although this brush for me, I quite like this brush. It's an old brush but it seems to do the job. So I'm using a larger brush now, I think this will cover it a little bit better. Right, that's better. So there we are, that's the, um, there's a first coat there. Um, let that dry for a bit, and then I'm going to put another coat a blue over the top of that as well and build up in grades of different shades of blue. Uh, you, it's probably good to be patient with this type of thing and try not to do too much in one coat and build up the layers. Um, I'm going to put another coat of blue over the top of this, a slightly different shade. Um, I'm going to make it a little bit darker, maybe a bit darker. Um, then. I'm going to um, add some lighter shades to the leaf. I highly suggest like uh, having a having a look at leaves, studying leaves to see where the um, dark parts are and the light parts and the in betweens, the mid tones, and all that sort of thing, and have a have a good look at a selection of leaves and. Um, also use a little bit of artistic license to create the effect you want. I mean, I like to uh, get things as uh, looking as natural as possible, um, and also, you know, um, using a little bit of artistic license to um, create the effects you want. Actually, this this is actually a little bit lighter than the last coat, but um, that's okay. We can have some darker tones as we go through. And like I say, you know, it's it's up to you to create the effect that you're looking for. But be patient. Just dry brush it on, and uh, like I say, build up the layers.
I actually prefer natural colours really, like greens and browns, like natural leaves and all that sort of thing. But I think uh, for this video the blue may pop out a little bit more to sort of illustrate um, how the colours work and the colours may pop out a little bit better. I'm going to put another coat of blue over the top, slightly lighter this time. So I'm going to add a little bit of white to the blue. I mean also as well, I mean, um, you know, um, just uh, do what you want to do and um, you know you can experiment and uh, if things don't turn out, they sometimes you get good effects without knowing it. I think uh, Bob Ross, the famous oil painter, the, the fantastic oil painting in, in sort of like a half an hour period you know just go with the flow and uh, you know you sometimes you get some happy little accidents as he used to say which is so it doesn't matter you can't really mess up really and if you do if you if you don't like it you can go over the top and put another cut of paint on so um, I'm just gonna build these layers up and uh, so far it's, it's not looking too bad it's Sort of taking shape, form, or whatever you want to call it, and uh, you can just keep messing around, just apply it lightly, and uh, see what happens, see how it turns out. Because you know, you don't, you sort of have an idea in your head how it's going to turn out, but you don't exactly know what it's going to look like. So it's quite a, sometimes it's a nice surprise. Right, I'm going to let that dry for a few minutes and um, I'm going to build up some lighter shades of blue from the inside of the leaf. It's like when you look at leaves, you can sort of, when, you, when you see them grow, the sort of new growth seems to be a bit lighter on many leaves. So. Um, like I say, let's have, have a good look at the leaves, or leaves that you find in the garden or wherever, and uh, just have a good look and try and sort of replicate those shades. Right, so we've, uh, we're building the colours up. I'm going to put another um, coat of blue paint added with some more white and dry brush from the middle or the centre outwards a little bit here maybe a few highlights towards the sides so not too much but in there in the middle and I think that'll do for the moment just a little bit so I'm doing it again maybe putting too much on but anyways taking shape I tend to mess around with things a little bit too much, but uh, again, like the more leaves you do, you know, the more experience you get. Well, like, like anything else, and all that sort of thing. Right, so that's that bit. Right, okay. There's a. I've um, got an even lighter blue again. Like um, just add more white, and I'm just gonna take that from the centre outwards. a few highlights there, maybe just a little bit towards the edges. This is quite nice. And that'll do for there, maybe just straight through the middle. Let's stand back and have a look at it. Right, that'll do for that coat. Now I'm gonna put um nearly a pure white but not quite just a hint of blue just to um, maintain the, well, as authentic as you can possibly get it. So, here, yeah, just straight through the middle of them, not too much. Maybe a couple of highlights up here, just a little tiny bit. Try and sort of take it from the centre outwards so it gives that sort of illuminated kind of look like so. 
what, what's the word? Is it um, effervescent or something like that? I don't know. So I'll be okay there. I'm going to lighten up the blue again so we're even closer to a pure white. Right, now put the, the highlights in place. Um, you really, I prefer to sort of start from uh, perhaps put a mid tone over the um, base coat or primer um, and then build up um, layers which grade from dark to light. But what I'm going to do now is go around the edge of the leaf with some pure blue. And like what we were doing earlier, going from the center, we're going to go from the outside in and just build up some darker layers just on the edges of the leaf. Again, to sort of give that natural look. And of course, the outside of the leaves, that's sort of the the older parts of the leaf which started to grow so um, just a tiny bit maybe bring a little bit in more I'm gonna, and as we build up the layers if we're going to make the um, layers progressively darker so there we are there's the the pure blue Right, I'm going to mix a little bit of black with the blue and obviously that will darken the blue and the, and the same process again, just build up the layers and make the blue progressively darker. I'll probably put a couple of coats of darker blue on this the blue, just a touch, just around those edges. bring it in a little bit more just to overlap onto that light, those light parts. Right, um, I've let that dry off a little bit. I'm going to darken up the blue even more for the edges. So it's almost black, but not black. Just a hint of blue or blue with a hint of black to make it nearly black so it's almost like the um, primer colour so I'm going to go around the edge just just subtly just gives that a nice effect I mean this is a pretty basic one like three colours Basically, just manipulating the blue. So obviously, the white to make it make the blue lighter, and the black to make the blue darker when you mix them together on each coat. Um, maybe doing some more natural leaves, uh, like the autumn leaf that I did. Um, I'll do another one of those videos at some point. I was using other colours: um, brown, yellow. Um, 
yellow ochre, uh, black and white just to darken and lighten the colours. Maybe bring that in a little bit. And the dry brushing is good because also you don't really want if you you, you, you want the colours to be straight um, when you apply it to the leaf. Um, you don't really want the colours to mix so you get like a grey, mushy, um, murky effect. So you build up the colours, let them dry off and just keep dry brushing over the top. I'm going to put, um, I'm going to make the blue even lighter again and just subtly put a very very dark blue around the edge almost black just just a touch that's all you need to do there I think I'll just put one last coat on. I don't think it needs too much more. Of a dark, very dark blue. the finished leaf. I'm quite happy with that and um, that will do. And I hope you got something from this video and uh, watch out for more videos in the future. Thank you very much.